They are two of the most acclaimed and accomplished actresses in Hollywood, Kristen Stewart and Laura Dern. The two star in a new movie. It's called Certain Women. Kristen plays a young attorney teaching night school who unexpectedly bonds with a student. My mom works in a school cafeteria, my sister in a hospital laundry, so selling shoes is the nicest job a girl from my family is supposed to get. And Laura plays a lawyer whose client has become more than a thorn in her side, that's for sure. You know, you're going to have to get out. All right. Uh -uh. Out. No, you can't say those things to me. You can't talk like that. Never mind. I'll be quiet. Well, they both stopped by our studio to talk about the film, which opens on Friday. And we started by asking them what drew them to this project. It's three different women's stories, somehow linked, and I don't want to give everything away. Was, what was the, 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 the thing about the script that made you all want to be a part of this? Because it's also Michelle Williams, another great mm -hmm. actress. Mm -hmm. What, what uh, appealed to you? I, I mean, I think we are all in love with Kelly Reichert's work as a filmmaker, and it's so rare to get to work with someone who truly creates their vision and knows how to make the film that she wants to make and mm. protects that fiercely. Mm. Um, so to be part of that journey was amazing to start with. And Kristen, and, yes. <laughs> and you like the writer, right? Um, yeah, I do. I actually, I wasn't familiar with those stories, um, and they are quite different. I think they definitely retain, like, the spirit, but Kelly made them very much her own. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's about three women that you wouldn't necessarily draw an immediate connection uh, between all three necessarily, but there is a sort of, um, I don't know, like a spiritual through line. It's not just, uh, it's easy to say, oh, it's a movie about strong women, you know, yeah. but I think it's really more about uh, the unresolved and the sort of, like, um, um, receding that can happen in order to protect yourself. I don't know, that's kind of what I see with all three of them, is you see like very, very, very clear versions of these women that are kind of just beneath the surface. And you're like, come on out, come, come on out. out. And yeah. your character, it seems like you are living in your own kind of pain. And you're playing opposite another woman who is living in her world. And it's so funny to watch you two interact and not connect at all. It's like yeah. you sit there together and you're each living in your own world. They're just having, they, they're having conversations, yeah. but they're entirely different conversations. They're just on totally different pages. And you pages. see them in different ways, too. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's an interesting subliminal theme that I think we're starting to talk about even just getting to do press and having now seen the finished film. Sometimes you learn a lot in these yeah. interviews. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is this movie about? That's what you were thinking. But it's a bit in the air with yeah. our current political climate and, and this concept of female first, this idea of three women who perhaps have receded also because they've lived so completely in what's considered a man's world. Yes, thank you for finishing. That they've <laughs> self-protected yes. um, in order to get through some of the sexism they've dealt with in, in very subtle and not overt ways, but it's interesting to consider. Laura, well, you like these kind of films because, I mean, like you said, we were talking about your Oscar nominations and these big films. What, big is, ones, it, yeah. what, about, what is it about these kinds of movies that appeal to you? You know, um, I was very lucky to be raised by two actors who, when they were first taking me to sets in the 70s and I was watching films made about women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were complicated, they were fierce, they were messy, mm -hmm. and there was zero judgment about it. Suddenly now, people are like, wow, women in movies who are complicated? <laughs> yeah. This is so cutting edge. Yeah. Yeah. Authenticity. Yeah. You're just getting back That's to basics, though. We're having to circle yeah. back yeah. to well, something. Well, imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. that. That should be the norm, that people mm -hmm. are complicated and people have flaws and we can honor And there is a bleakness yeah. to life. Yeah. There really is. Yeah. She takes a lot of time with the bleakness, this, yeah. this, yeah. Yeah. this director. Yeah. Yeah. And she has a foot fetish, but that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> we keep seeing feet. There are lots, lot of, lots of feet. Lots of feet. Look close. Like watch again. Yeah. Watch yeah. Watch yeah. Interesting. I certainly so much. How many, time, how many seats did I just sell for you? <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, it's bleak and a lot it's of feet. About feet. feet. Like, it's actually, about women. Yeah. the guys are even paying attention. No, 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 the guys are going to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Connect through their feet. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people do. It hits theaters this Friday. Hello, today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.